Welcome to Rotor Ride. I'm Ladriv. I'm PJFX. Let's fly RC. Bubby FPV. And today we are at this epic bando spot. <laughs> I never fly with people, so I need you guys to tell. I don't even know about setting channels. Yeah. Can't be on the same channel, right? You just want to pick channels, like, so if there's four of us, we'd probably fly channels one, three, five, and seven. I call one. Shotty three. Yeah. Taking one. I'll be okay. seven. All right. Five. <laughs> I guess. I guess. <laughs> three is usually yeah. mine, but. Um, is it? Do you, you want know, three? Cool. Do you want three? You know. I'll take five. No, it's I'll good. do that for you. I'm just I'll do, do you want three? You know, it's, you know, it's crazy. James, I just of, want you to be happy. have this button on the side. You just go. With the DJI and digital there, FPV fine. system, <laughs> it's FPV never been system. easier to change channels. Available on rotoriot.com. It is. Told you okay, listen. No, I actually now. painted these. That's I when you I was painting my pants. house. This happened, mm -hmm. and then I just never wore them out in public. But then I happened to be wearing them, and my buddy was like, "Where did you get those pants?" <laughs> and I was like, "No, I actually just was painting." And he thought they were like designer painted pants. So now I've, I'm trying wearing them. Do these look good or bad? I mean, I just assumed you picked them up while you're down here at some fancy shop. Are you serious? Or yeah, not? yeah, yeah. Should I wear these pants out in public or not? You, you do below. you. <laughs> you're wearing them in public. You're, yeah, you're not. Well, shoot. Now I'm really you're questioning choice. this now. I've never heard of painted pants being a fashion statement. Oh, well, yeah. listen. Guys, these pants are available on <laughs> rotoriot.com. $100. Just, just that. <laughs> just that. No, these, these pants. That, yeah. that pair. The one he's if wearing right now. If you buy these pants, I'll take them off. He's not even going to wash them. Yeah, I'll leave them with... The one place you're not supposed to go. Well, <laughs> Drew didn't want Channel 5, so I took it. Oh my god. And then he was on Channel 5. <laughs> He's in the apparently. one place you really shouldn't go. I mean, we see signs every now and then that say no trees passing and stuff, but like electrical danger, stay away. Thank you. Really appreciate that. <laughs> Why is there security? What's happening? Yeah, he's kind of looking into it now, but just, I guess. I have no other options right now. So is this, is this where we're going? We're on there. Okay. A spot's better than no spot. <laughs> you do not fit. Like, should we do this instead of the ranch? I think this is a better spot than the ranch. Okay. Want to try it? Sure. All right. Everyone thinks that this show is just like super smooth, and that's what and they came that, for. You know, is that what they came here yeah, for? Yeah, they don't want to hear us just complain them. about our job, our awesome dream job of like driving around to cool spots <laughs> and flying is really hard. And I know we make it look really easy, but like sometimes <laughs> it's it's stressful. They don't they don't you don't care about that. You I don't think want it's it. interesting. You, I think it's interesting. It's that. inter. I guess. I mean, I assumed I would show up and we'd have like a manager who like goes to the spots and like finds them all and they're all like legit and ready to go and we've got like thought? sponsors there is that catering. what you actually thought I figured there was catering right like um, is probably that what have, you actually like, thought <laughs> probably have some DPs on site I just assumed this was a big production you're on YouTube <laughs> <laughs> you know how many people watch YouTube We're gonna go to this one abandoned ranch place, but we realized that on the way there, we are right at this three-hole spot, and guys, this three-hole spot is one of my favorite spots in California. It's just like super tight, but really flowy, so I brought the guys here, and we're gonna hopefully get some awesome freestyle.
I mean, happy with my clip. Um, relative to your clips, like I don't think you know, like, like you've crushed this spot. Well, well, thank you. Like everything that you could do here, he's already done. So like, I don't really know that I'm gonna come in here and do anything that's like gonna blow anyone's mind unless they haven't seen your video. So don't watch Bobby's video yet. <laughs> watch. <laughs> don't enjoy this video, and then if you want more, go watch Bobby's video. <laughs> Moving on, moving on. Move on up. Dude, that was a perfect lineup too. I just, I, I knew I wasn't gonna have enough power to pull out though, because it was from the moon. Sean, that was one of the hardest crashes I have seen and heard third person. Oh my gosh. Okay. See, you can't break the Skylander. In GoPro still recording? That was from the moon, man. It literally hit the edge of that concrete. Yeah. You gotta have durable equipment if you're gonna fly like that. I fly like I don't really care if the drone hit, as long as I make the trick. One time out of 10, I'm good. This episode's gonna be super great. We flew a lot of awesome freestyle spots and you know, we have like the best spots in the world here and they are absolutely shredding the spot.
So this looks good or not? You look great, Drew. Okay. Okay. Keep it up. I think it's it, it's about how you wear it. I just didn't look at it and go like, why is he wearing his paint pants to the spot? <laughs> I mean, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I saw 